Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Shweta here today to share a video tutorial on a rusty vintage clock. You'll be learning how I turned a broken clock into a vintage rusty one instantly. I began I began by covering the entire clock with Expressions Craft Black Gesso. The art essentials range of products from Expressions Craft are uh, basically mixed media essentials without which your projects are incomplete. These products come both in the large and small sizes to suit all your requirements. Do check their website. I then gathered all the stuff that I'm going to be using in my project. There are various chippies from Expression Craft, chipboard negatives, parts of the clock, and some metal trash from my toolbox. I began adhering all those things starting from the innermost hollow of the clock. I'm going to be building up layers of all the stuff on the clock and uh, will be covering each layer with black gesso as I'm done with it in order to avoid any hard to reach areas later. I'm trying to figure out what to put where as I go. One thing that I love about mixed media is that it lets you run your imagination out of the box. One can never go wrong with it. Keep on trying, there are endless possibilities. I left a small little embellishment to be added uh, at the last. Now here I mix some sand with art gel medium and applied the mixture all over the clock including the back side. The grain size and the texture of the sand is perfect to achieve the rusty look. I also added some pearls here and there for interest, then covered it with black gesso wherever required. Then I began coloring my clock. I started by using the sprinkle mist chestnut and uh, spraying it all over. These sprinkle mists from Expressions Craft are very vibrant in color and available in different beautiful colors. Don't forget to check them out. 
After drying it with the heat tool, I took two metallic paints, wedding red and sunkissed gold and began with the red one first. The technique here is to dry brush it randomly. Painting it with a brush won't give you the rust effect that we are aiming for. I've used a stencil brush here. After red one, I went ahead with the yellow color and dry brushed it over the red areas. I also did the back side of the clock in the same manner. I used a paintbrush for the hard to reach areas. Then I again took the chestnut sprinkle mist and applied it with a brush at some random areas to darken them a bit. After that, I took hunter green metallic paint and dry brushed it at a few places to add a hint of color. Now coming back uh, to this last embellishment, uh, this is a chippy that uh, came off a wedding in white and these are the hands of the clock. I covered them with black gesso first and applied the sand and art gel mixture on it. Then applied the before mentioned red, yellow and green metallic paints in the same manner for the rusty look and lastly glued them uh, down in the center. And that's how an old broken clock was instantly altered into a rusty vintage one. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials.